What is stopping you from embracing the faith of your wife? You mean all those pesky Catholics? <laughs> Jordan Peterson's wife, Tammy, entered into the Catholic Church this Easter, and Peterson was asked in an interview prior to the Easter Vigil Mass on Saturday what Easter and Christ's crucifixion means to him. And he was also asked what is the likelihood of him entering the Catholic Church himself. Both answers might surprise you. Here's the first. Jordan, when you look at the cross today, what does, it, what does that symbol mean to you? It's the point where everything comes together. That's what the cross means. It's the, it's, the, it's the agony of life. That's what it is. It's the agony of life. And, and with, with, any, with God's grace, you might say, the, the triumph of life in the face of mortality, in the face of agony, in the face of malevolence. That's what it is. That, that's not a matter of... We're very confused about what faith is in, in the modern world. We think that faith is your assent, your verbal assent to a, a collection of descriptive statements. That's a, perhaps an element of faith, like a, it's like the paint on a very thick wall. It's an element of faith, but the faith itself is, what would you say? It's the willingness to presume that being and becoming is good despite tragedy and malevolence. Right, so there, that's a high calling to be required to make that faith manifest. But from the psychological perspective, and again, st speaking strictly psychologically, we know that voluntary confrontation with what disturbs and blocks you is the universal pathway forward. That, that's indisputable. And so the limit case of that, the crucifix is the limit case of that. This is really important because as a young man who was raised Catholic, went to Catholic school and attended church with my family weekly, I learned all of the what of the Catholic faith, all of the statements of faith and all the rituals. I learned what to do and what to say, but really never was convinced of a compelling why. Jordan Peterson has had a tremendous influence on helping me understand the importance, the why, the depth of everything that the Catholic church teaches. I know that this is the case for not only Catholics, but for Christians in general, especially questioning and disagreeing young men. Also, and I hate to say this, but being religiously Catholic wasn't cool. It was weird. And it was weird because we did things because we were told to, not because they meant anything to us. None of us knew why we genuflected, knelt down, prayed, received the Eucharist, went to confession, got confirmed, or said the creed or did all the rituals. We just did them because we were told, and those who really went hard on it just looked kind of dumb because there was no connection to reality or a deep why. You were just a good listener or a people pleaser if you did them. It's like the only thing that religion requires is going to church on Sunday and then everyday life existed separately. I know that this is the case for many raised in religious households. How is all of this connected to reality, to everyday life? Put aside why I should give up or dedicate my life to this, but why should I even set aside an hour on a weekly basis for this? Jordan Peterson is changing this, and it's because of answers like this. The cross is central to reality, and it's the model for ideal human living. Christianity is not an arbitrary set of rules for primitive people, but the best way to live. It's the way to a life in full. Christian living results in stable, peaceful, and fulfilled individuals and societies. It works. And if you want to live to your potential in this life, then you must live a Christian life. That is what we are talking about here. And the Catholic Church is supposed to be the vessel which guides us all along this way, along this path. So therefore, wouldn't Jordan Peterson want to join it? Here's his answer. What is stopping you from embracing the faith of your wife. You mean all those pesky Catholics? <laughs> I don't know if anything is stopping me. What's holding you back? I, I don't think anything's holding me back. Everybody's got their own destiny. And so... Is it in yours? Um, is it in mine? I would say it's unlikely. But... Why do you say unlikely? I exist on the borders of things. So, 
Why is that? I don't know. But that's how it is. So I've been trying to think through this answer from Jordan, and I can somewhat relate to his answer. I am Catholic, but there are aspects of the church that I have trouble reconciling with, like the current leadership, scandals, the feminization of the church, and its failure to attract strong men. And I don't think it's unfair to question whether the Catholic Church is the arbiter of truth and guide toward the best way to live that it's supposed to be right now. The church does need reform. And I don't blame Jordan for this hesitation. But for me, I can't shake the Eucharist. Like there are aspects of this faith that are above the current leadership problems, scandals and failures of individual men, and methods of evangelization, or how the faith is communicated. All of these need to be addressed. Yes, of course. But there are things that I accept lacking my own understanding on faith because I believe all in willing to give it all up in Christ and the church that he himself established. The responsibility to reform right now must be done by lay people, I believe, from within. Many are lost nowadays and hungry for a revived church that can lead them to a life in full. Peterson said it and knows it himself. The cross is the answer and we have the cross. It's the way. And we can flip the suffering and meaning crisis that so many are going through right now on its head. Perhaps if we can reform the church into what it could be, the church that Christ formed it to be, we'd not only be able to get Peterson, but everyone else along with him.